flag. Alright guys, uh good afternoon. I'm uh reaching you from uh the US I just came this morning and you guys know that uh it's been pretty difficult the last few hours we lost one of our best friends, one of our greatest friends, best writer, public intellectual bias at this summit. So I I had the misfortune of uh, having to break the news to some of our friends, not everybody, because the news have been floating around. And then getting on a 11 hours flight from Lagos to New York. So you can imagine what was on my mind throughout, you know, it's crazy. And uh, I really appreciate all of you that reached out to me, reached out to his family. And uh, we'll continue to give you updates about uh, events that I met to uh, keep his memory alive. I want to use this opportunity to just uh, let you say hi to my daughter who had surgery. I'm taking her out now to, uh, to see her doctor. This is the first time you see your dad, right? Uh, in a long time. Mm -hmm. She want to turn the camera around so that... Uh, Say hello to yes. So talk to them. Um, hello. Thank you for for supporting me when I had my knee, my knee surgery, and um, uh, um, I I I feel better now, and um, I I I am happy that you you supported me. So what, can you tell them what happened to your knee? Uh, I, I got shoved in soccer and then my uh, my knee got fractured. And then you had surgery after that? Yeah. And then you say you feel better now? Yeah. Are you going to go back to playing soccer? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, cool. So you can represent Nigeria one day maybe? Don't you think so? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so guys, uh, thank you so much. That's uh, Mami K right there. <laughs> um, and uh, we're going to see a doctor right now. So you have your dad back, right? And she was very supportive. She she told me when I was running that, uh, I know daddy, if you run, you'll win, right? Yeah. So, but um, there's still victory in all of this. Uh, and um, we're gonna win big. Uh, but uh, I just wanted you guys to see her, and uh, she's doing very well. Mami K is doing very well. She they removed all of the, um, uh, all of the plaster around your knee. It's all good, and and you don't have any major pain, except that uh, you have to do therapy for like a month, so you can get better, right? So guys, thank you so much. She told me that she felt really good after receiving all of your uh, support and uh, she's healing faster now. She's supposed to heal for over four months, but the doctors are saying, how, when are you, when is the doctor saying you can go back to playing soccer again? Uh, in a month. In months, okay. In about a month, instead of four months. So, so when you go back, you got to go represent Nigeria because Nigerians love you. They supported you. So when you're ready to play professional soccer, you can just go represent Nigeria, you know, at the World Cup. <laughs> Does it sound funny? Yeah. Yeah. And then you said, uh, you had to actually, you wrote me while I was in Nigeria that uh, you partook in a protest. What yes. was that? Tell me about it. Um, uh, me and my school were black. A lot of people in our school were black because our principal um, told us that we couldn't use our phones even after dismissal inside of the school and even if it was like raining or something and um, we were all very mad so we were black and we were black to school yeah we were black to school and people and she also said we couldn't chew gum so people th threw gums on the threw uh, pa empty packets of gum on, on, the, on the compound on the floor on the floor wow and um uh, they did some other things that I forgot, but yeah. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto West did Palisade Avenue. You, you win in that protest? She didn't notice. Huh? She didn't notice. 
but you, I'm sure she did. Probably she just didn't want to make you guys feel like she noticed. All right, cool. Uh, I think there's a uh, okay. So uh, thank you guys so much. You know, um, that's Mommy Care. That's the lady you guys. Turn left onto West Palisade Avenue. God. She got more likes on Facebook than I got more votes in the election. So you're the more popular person. <laughs> so, um, so um, I'm I'm going to try to take some questions while I'm at it. You know, do you um, do you want to have me read some of the questions out there? If there's any questions for Daddy. Um. Um, no, no, you can go, you can start from the bottom. Let's start from where we are. Um, if you have any questions, uh, you're going to have a lot. In 1,000 feet, at the traffic you're circle, take pronounce. the second exit Someone onto Bennett Road. Road. Just try it, try your best. Someone said, how old is your daughter, Anthony Iodele? And um, how old are you? I'm, I'm 12 now. Okay. And how tall are you? I'm 5'7". Wow, that's almost as tall as daddy. Mm -hmm. Well, you're a little taller than your daddy, right? Um, I, think I'm five, I think I'm five eight or something. I don't know. So, what other questions do I have? Uh, um, I, uh, they're going very fast. They're going very Someone fast. said, uh, if that's in, in six hundred feet, turn left onto West Englewood Avenue. Okay, said, when are you coming to Maryland? Maryland, uh, yes, one of these days we're planning to come to Maryland. We're going to do a tour of uh, all of the areas where we got a lot of support. So in Head southeast on West Palisade Avenue, Avenue toward Armory Street. So that we can rebuild In a quarter of a mile, turn right Jude, onto South Dean Street. Jude, as I said, any plans for 2023? Yes, a lot of plans between now and 2023 and subsequently 2023. Uh, my dad, you will be a president in 2023. Possibly, yeah. That's why we got to start working on that now. Yeah. Is it what class are you? Someone is asking, what class are you? I'm in sixth grade. Sixth grade? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, to say you're a tall person. Yeah, she's very tall. Yeah, she's very tall. And um, she's a nice person, too. Very nice person. So we're gonna next election we're gonna go together. This time around, I'm not gonna leave you behind, right? So that you don't have to do surgery. We just go running on the streets of Nigeria to win the election together, right? Mm -hmm. Fantastic. So that's uh, guys. Uh, that's it. Uh, I'm uh, going to go into see a doctor who's uh, taking care of uh, who's gonna take care of mommy care. She's still in therapy for another month, so um, I just want to thank you guys so much uh, for being here, and I want to use this opportunity uh, to thank all of you, all of you that supported us in the last one year uh, during the election, and to say, yeah, somebody's asking, have you ever been to Nigeria before? I've been there twice. Twice. Do you like Nigeria? Yes. Yes. She's been to Nigeria twice, yes. Uh, she's She's been to Nigeria. And they say you look like daddy. Do you think so? Yes. Yeah? Good. So, and she's starting to act like daddy by engaging in protests against your principal in school. So what's her name? Her name is Mami Care. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I think uh, uh, 10 is at, uh, what time is it, 6 o'clock? Is that what it is? Do you know the place? Do you know the exact place? I know it's 500 Grand Avenue in 10 o'clock. Is it 10 o'clock? Not here. No, not 10 o'clock. Wait, it's not here. It's not, it's I thought not it said it's Englewood. Okay. Um, Guys. Guys, um. I have to leave. Uh, I'll be back uh, to address some of your questions if necessary tonight. Uh, they ask if you speak daddy's language, Yoruba. Uh, not a, a little bit. What, what, what Yoruba, what do you know how to say? I know sit and stand and come and bum and picks. 
<laughs> All right. Now you guys, 